It's Monday, June 9th. Yesterday, my beautiful bride and I made a brand new hive for our, uh, our bees. Last week on Thursday, we experienced a swarm. I was at work staring at a screen. Missed the entire thing, otherwise I would have captured it and made it a second hive. The fact remains that this hive is just too small to contain the amount of bees that are eventually going to be made from uh, this, this breed of queen. So it's two feet three inches, about half the size that's recommended. So today I'm going to take all the top bars from in here and move them over to this hive here. You can see the difference in the size of the bars. I have these professionally milled by uh, my wife's uncle who has a, a device called a table saw. You can really see the difference in size between the old hive and the new hive. So I knew that they were gonna swarm. I knew because one, the hive is a bit small. Two, they were gathered all over the outside of the hive. Every day when I came home from work, which is you know, basically when my real life is. I saw the outside of the hive just stubbled with bees day after day and I kind of knew that that meant there wasn't enough room inside for everybody. And uh, I didn't know a swarm was imminent necessarily. Why don't you go into your new house? But. Uh, I, I vowed to make a new hive on the Sunday after. I said, all right, this Sunday I'm making a new hive. Hell or high water. And I'm going to take the bees and I'm going to put them in the new hive. And uh, like I said, I came home Thursday and there was no bees on the outside of the hive. And I just had this sinking feeling that they all just left. They just said, no more. No more of this guy digging in there with his rusty hive tool. No more of his haphazard inspections. His half-wit guesses at what to do for us. We're out of here. I'm having a bit of a problem just getting into the hive right now because it's very, very full. They must have had a really good spring so far because I see a lot of capped honey here. All right, so I got the first bar out against this back wall, it was very challenging. Uh, I think part of the problem was I kept envisioning that deep down inside here, um, it was all bound up against the inside of the hive and I didn't want to pull too hard on the top bar and end up splitting everything off of it. Um, so I was very gentle and I, there's, I was just way too gentle. Um, fact of the matter is the, bee, the bar was full of honey, so it was just heavy. That, that wasn't stuck or anything, it was just heavy. So pulling it up with a little bit more finesse and gusto helped me um, break it free from gravity. Probably it would be a lot less scary if I was wearing equipment, but it's not organic, Jesse. So this is going very slow. I have to uh, move very gently and very cautiously. And uh, every time they get a little bit stirred up and fired up, I, I run back and run away and just let them calm down again. And I don't have a lot of time. It's, it's a little bit windy and it's getting dark and they don't like either of those conditions. So I'm going to go put on my bee veil and gloves and just go at this as quickly and as roughly as I can with the protection that those items provide me. What do you got, bracers?
Now I don't have to be nice to you anymore. You have no power over me anymore, bees. Where are we going? See any queens? <laughs> oh no, we'll skip one, sorry. We'll skip one? Yeah, because they're oh, cause really they're fat, yeah. Excuse me, ladies. Probably should do this in the middle of the day, now that I think of it, because the migration of the leftover bees from there to there, it's not going to go well in the dark. Welcome to the Ian Tries and Fail Show. I'm suited up. I got the full regalia. I got gloves with a hoodie, and these sleeves pulled down tight over the gloves and the veil. And um, it's hot, sure. Um, there's actually a big hole in this glove, which adds a little bit of stress. But overall, I'm so much more reduced to stress while doing this. This is like not a scary, tense. Every step could lead to potential pain. It's actually kind of nice. You can just go, all right, bees, F off, I'm working here. So I just wanted to add my feelings in right now while I'm still experiencing how pleasant it is. So, um, gosh, it must be 9 o'clock. I started at 6, and uh, this has been non-stop work. Uh, it's been a little bit stressful, but far, far, far less stressful having my protective equipment on. And, uh, I guess for regular routine inspections where I'm just going to pop in, check on things, and pop out again, a t-shirt is fine. But, uh... <laughs> Digging in this deep and kind of destroying their home from their point of view is uh, something that requires a little bit more protection. I still have a lot of bees in their hold up high. I'm assured that the queen is out. I don't see the queen anywhere in here. So she must have gone out with one of the guards of home. I'm going to flip this to try and scatter them into the entrance of the new hive. I've killed a lot of bees in this experience, and I've gotten a couple of spoonfuls of honey. I've wrecked a lot of comb, and I really stressed these ladies out. But it had to be done. I had to move that smaller hive into a larger hive. It had to be done. No way around. They uh, seem to be... I mean, they're, they're sitting inside their new hive, fanning. Fanning their little wings, bringing out their dead. 
fun. So it's a freaking battlefield. It's terrible. Sorry, girls. Mm, really sorry. I don't like to see any of you brushed and maimed like this. It's really gross.